Hey guys, welcome back with more scum tips and tricks. Uh, today I'm going to be going over a topic that has been brought up to me a couple of times with some of the people that I play with or people that I know that also play scum is that there's this giant fear of dying and doing that restart. And so I'm going to go and sit down with you guys and go over making a new character and how to basically best prep yourself on a restart. This is for either a server restart, this is a patch restart, or hey, you died and you get another restart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna instantly go to make a new character right off the bat. And I'm gonna go over the steps that will, at this point, right before 7.0 patch drops, which is possibly gonna happen around Christmas is the rumor, I'm gonna show you how to best set yourself up. So strength, constitution, dexterity are all malleable stats and they will change based off of your diet and how much you, well, basically how much you're active. So what I like to do is I like to drop it down to uh, 2.6 just to start with and then get intellect up to four because uh, right now you can't change intellect. And then from there I would add Dexterity and strength or Dexterity and constitution strength is really easy to get up. It goes up constantly all the time And then this gets us our stat block that we got going on so first off with strength I like to go basic and strength Basic and archery should be able to get basic in everything and that's going to be a good foundation for everything that you need to and then i would put uh just a little smidgen that you have extra into melee weapons this is going to help uh basically with your your start because you're going to either have a axe a spear um hell i've even ran around with a, a monkey wrench using that for a bit in one of my playthroughs just something dense and heavy um it also will help out when you pistol whip or shove with your gun or have a bayonet it helps with the timing and everything like that so melee weapons i always like to just tip up a little bit again these are all super easy to level up as you use them but at least having basic and everything you're not going to have the most penalty but you're going to be well-rounded depends on whatever situation that you're going to go into um endurance and uh and running you're gonna get these up automatically so i just kind of get them top up like this and it just playing the game is going to change that now thievery i would say get into medium this is going to be helping out with your lock picking things like that and it's very hard to level up and the higher success rate you have the less fame chance that you have to draw next I would do is stealth everything else you should be leveling up on your own um, motorcycling and driving depends on what server you play on or if you play single player those objects are hard to find sometimes and so it's I wouldn't waste XP beginning XP on them because if you find them you'll level them up with it if you don't find it then that's a wasted XP it does you no good so awareness this helps you out if you're playing pvp survival all i would go to basic engineering i actually argue to go to medium because this kind of shortcuts uh, a lot of grinding for materials uh, to be able to get your engineering high enough so this is going to allow you to build some base structures uh, a box things like that that you don't have to do tedious stuff and then medical i would also go to maybe just under medium just because it this one's you're going to level up a bit as you bandage yourself as you're injured things like that but the higher your medical the more healing that you're going to the faster you're going to heal and the less materials you need to bandage said wound i've found that it's come in really good handy but without the the newest iteration of the patch notes that there is no recipes tied to medical so there is no uh, no medications that you can make there's no sanitization there's no like ointments there's no 
it's medical still lacking right now it really only affects kind of your recovery rate and how like how much materials bandage wise that you need to stop your various wounds c2 c3s and uh oh gosh c4s i've never gotten a c4 injury i do not plan to c3 seem to bleed out pretty hard i can only imagine what a c4 is i've been careful enough not to get that and then with that little XP that you have left over, I would say maybe put it into camouflage. If you're playing on a PvP server, maybe drop the medical a little bit more into camouflage and awareness just so that you can have a better chance of not being seen or seeing others. But for this, all intents and purposes, we are playing, um, we're playing uh, solo. So let's get started. I'll show you basically my beginning routine that I like to do uh, whenever I die or decide to start fresh. Sometimes I like to start fresh. So I'm not going to do any splicing or editing except for maybe this load screen. Sometimes it takes a while for a single player load. All right, here we are. Oh, let me see. Secure up. communication with oh, human asset. I forgot is about. Pushed. Greetings. Forgot human about. Asset. Welcome to Scum Island tutorial protocol provided by the Tech One Corporation. My designation oh. is dual energetic. Never mind. We're gonna have to listen to that for a little bit. Sardina. I am an we'll wait for the robot to stop. created by the Tech One Corporation, tasked with overseeing the Scum Show protocols, including the preparation of human assets. If you wish to activate the tutorial, please do so on your journal interface. Secure channel closed. All right. Now, actually doing some of the tutorials in the beginning, the simple crafting, where it asks you to basically grab two stones, blah, 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 blah. Doing this stuff and bag crafting, like doing some of this stuff, actually is a great way to get two times uh, fame points if you have the the plan of teleporting uh i will go into that in a bit later but we have just basically spun around let's find out where we're at b1 uh the bees are like my favorite areas to, to just roll around in but right off the bat we're gonna do some more rock grabbing and instantly make a knife idea is to give a good setup of about 10 minutes so okay you, basically how to get set up in 10 minutes without any other issues so right off the bat you want to go to the nearest bushes that you can find with your knife and start hacking away one of the first things we want to do is get tree bark rope now, I know a lot of people like to do tutorials of getting your first bag set up with, say, a small stick. Small stick. That was a really small uh, bush. Uh, oh. Can you give me olives? <gasps> olives. Okay, we're we'll run with that. Are you olives too? Oh. All right then. We'll just throw you down on the ground for right now. Now, right off the bat, you should have almost nothing in your stomach, so being able to sit down and eat is a good idea. We still have that? Okay, we're going to eat that as we head to our next bush. So we started just right here next to the rock. So the idea is to not have to travel far to get your setup. And it looks like we have a lot of really small bushes right around there. Okay, there should be some good bushes. Okay, so back to the argument about tree bark versus cloth rope. Now that the medical system is implemented, I am not a fan of... Um, can we bundle those real quick? All right, we're bundling them just so we can carry them because we're one shy. There we go. Bundle of sticks. We're, now that the medical system is implemented, what you need is basically rags is one of the best way, uh, things or strips, depends on your medical uh, skill, to stop bleeding. And then we're going to 
unmake this. Then we're going to craft our tree bark rope right here, and we're going to actually close most of all of our crafting because we're not going to use a good portion of this. We're going to close all the food, most of engineering, basic builds, base building. We're going to close. Okay. And then craft our rope. So I lean towards using tree bark just because it's a readily available uh, resource. It's all over the place and you don't have to worry about um, taking hands. Okay, fine. Be a brat. We are not having a good luck of finding large bushes. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a large bush. The plan is to get large bushes. That way you can get large twigs. Because from large twigs, this bad boy right here. So that's what, a good maybe 100 feet from the rock that we've traveled? So this is not the best start that we've had, but it's not terrible. So this is where the like the bulk of the game is going to start. Kind of, or the start is going to kick in. Okay, small, small, long, full, long. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut into our rags our t-shirt we need a couple of rags to make our backpack and then from there we're going to make a quiver a lot of people don't make quivers which i'm not sure why we need to cut up my shorts uh because the quiver is an excellent use for if you do go archery it allows you to always pick up your arrows and it goes right into there. It's like an auto, uh, an auto select, which is nice. We're gonna build our backpack. As well as otherwise, the certain basic backpacks that you can, or uh, basic quivers that you can make will have uh, inventory space that you can sometimes use for food or a locate for ammunition, or um, I've sometimes used it for, that's where I like to put my rags. But a lot of times I, I like to keep my food, so it fits It fits really good for like a water bottle and maybe uh, one square thing to eat. Put on our backpack. Pick up our sticks. Long stick. And rag. And then put the small stick there. And then from there, we rinse, repeat. We get it, we make ourselves another rope. You actually want to make yourself a couple of ropes to do this uh, basically a couple of times. And then from here, we're now going to make a stone spear. A lot of people just go straight for the improvised spear just by sharpening the ends. Yes, it is a quicker spear to make. Is it a good spear? I, I would argue no. Cut into smaller sticks. And then we're going to segue into making also our axe and or bow. I'm not a big bow person just because I'm a terrible shot. Uh, oh, we need one more, one more short stick. Are you kidding me? You know what? I'll just end the small sticks. So I'm saving this long stick right here to make into my stone spear. Granted, a metal spear is best spear, but we're not in a spot right now. Why can I? Oh, I'm out of, I need to make a new knife. That's where I went wrong. Ooh, big rock. We might be able to make a... No, oh, I don't want to use a big rock. Can I do this? Make it into a stone knife. There we go. I want to keep the big rock because I like to use the big rocks to make big stone axes. I personally prefer the big axe. 
if you do end up having to use it as a weapon, then it is best because it has me personally. I, I guess not best. It's it's arguably. I think it's best because it has the biggest range, the biggest reach when you swing that thing. Also, it's it has a double use of going for um, uh, making a small rock, using it for um, cutting down trees. There's my big rock. All right, now we got some rocks. We're gonna go for big stone axe. Pick that up. Then we should also be able to make, because we have made extra ropes, we're also going to upgrade our long stick into a stone stick. And right about there is about the 10 minute marker. We are now pretty close to having maximized our inventory and combativity. Granted, we could have made the stone spear a little bit quicker than we did, but it is what it is. All right, two small stones. And then we're going to cut this down so we can get more sticks. And now we're going to make our quiver. All right, short stick. Long stick. Okay. One, two, three, four. We're actually going to cut one of these into small sticks again. And then how many do we need for the quiver again? We need three racks. So this is where we're going to lose our shirt. Because if we go socks, we're only going to get like one rack. It's not going to be enough. Granted, if you have socks, that should be at least two rags. That's just me. But oh, whatever. Huh? Into rags. We are going to need our socks. There we go. That should give us enough to do a large axe, because we need one for the large axe. And we need three for the quiver. So let's craft our quiver. Takes a little bit of time. And the higher you get your... Should, based off of our survival skill here... I did not. Did it go off of engineering? No. Oh. And there we go. We got another small thing. Here's the other thing for you. If you hold uh, left control and mouse wheel, you can rotate the items to fit what you need. So then also, let's... We're missing... Uh, we're missing a long stick. Did it end up using the long stick instead of... It did. So we'll grab those two, and then we'll go cut down another bush. This more olives? All right, we're getting lucky with the olives. All right, we'll eat that while we travel. There we go. And then, all right, that should be another. Yeah, that's for sure a large bush. That's for sure gonna get us the long sticks. And then we'll have our axe. And then we are going to basically be ready to take on whatever we want to. Crafting. Long stick. What are we missing? Ah, we're out of rope. So that's why we always make extra rope.
That's 12 minutes now that we've been doing this. Th 12, 13 minutes? So in 12, 13 minutes-ish, we have now made two inventory items, or basically inventory carrying items, a stone spear and a large stone axe that can be either used offensively or to craft with. But there you go. And this entire time, you're also getting these uh, logs that if you are wanting to gather them up, you could make a fire and start heating yourself. Depends on where you're at. Granted, this B area is one of the best areas. This doesn't work so much if you're in D0. Because D0, there is like hardly any vegetation other than some large trees. You, don't, you won't find the bushes and things like that that you would uh, anywhere else. So everywhere else, you can basically do this survival run except for D0. Now, what I did talk about doing the teleportation, I mentioned that really quickly, was that a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll take their stone axe and they'll cut down a tree. Now, cutting down the trees, it used to. Let's see if it still does. It should give you fame point, at least one fame point. And what they do is they, you cut up the tree, you then cut up the logs to get boards, you don't really do much with the boards other than you might want to do some engineering. It's a way to grind out and level up engineering. It is kind of a messy, it is tedious, but it is a way if your engineering is lacking. Is See, I just got a harvest or a fame point from doing that. You get yourself up to 25 fame points and then you can do this neat trick. That's not what I meant to do. Cut into wood planks. Because if you do find yourself that you're not in a happy spot, a lot of people, what they'll do... Let's see. Do I get crafting points for bundling the boards? Or game points? We're at 22. That does. All right. Cut into wood planks. And so I'll show you how to teleport as basically the, the wrapping up of this. It took us 12, 13 minutes to basically get to, to where we are. And that is not terrible to basically start. And if you are playing on a PVP server, having this routine down, granted we could have done this a little bit faster if I wasn't talking and trying to explain things. But if you're on a PVP server, then you wanna to try to get this done as fast as possible. So that you don't run into other players that are possibly going to be, well, murking you. So once we get to 25, I will show you. Click. Alright, there's 25. Then you go to commit suicide. Not the most pleasant to do. Let's just say, for whatever reason, I didn't like to be... In this location random respawn oh never mind you need 50 i'm mistaken you need 50 uh fame points i thought you needed 25 so 25 is a random spawn so that's this is one of the ways you can get a negative so sorry you cut down trees you you organize boards and now we're down here and then basically you do the routine all over again Search for rocks. Craft. Get yourself a stone knife. Rinse, repeat. And this should get you everything that you need. Again, if you get that routine down, then you will have a great way of not... Basically relieving some of that stress and anxiety of having a death, having... Um, uh you know a fresh start on a server things like that because a lot of people don't like f having a fresh start they like having a certain amount of gear or being the, a certain level of uh, comfortability get comfortable with the uncomfortability um sometimes i just make a new character just to do that to practice that routine and get it going so guys that's pretty much it i just kind of wanted to show you 
that in any environment you could get this going and set up basically the the bare essentials of two inventory carry you know, two containers a weapon and well one or two weapons and then also a harvesting tool so that you can make boards and things like that and just get right off the bat of if you wanted to start making uh, boxes or a place to live so there you guys go thank you very much um, if you have any other tips and tricks that you would like to see or hear or any that you have on yourself that I don't know about or I have not shared please put in the comment section below and I will get to them all right guys stay safe see you next time